Hello, this video shows the adjustable pedal travel of the Heusigveld Engineering Ultimate Sim Pedals, showing you the least possible travel and the most pedal movements you can achieve. And we call these the Ultimate Pedals because we feel they simulate up to such a high pedal force that you can simulate all sorts of racing cars with accurate pedal efforts, but accurate or at least very adjustable travel as well, which is also important to replicate the right feel. And that's why this video shows you the minimum and the maximum, so you have an idea what limits you can uh, adjust it within. And first we'll do the maximum pedal travel. So it's the most throttle travel, the softest brake using three uh, rubbers, three white rubbers, which are the softer and the most clutch travel. The frame is made from uh, wood. The pedals are mounted to 36 mm MDF, but it still flexes quite a bit. So if you look closely, you'll see the rig flex. And here's the longest throttle travel. It's a very long, precise pedal this way. And with the brake, you will see the coil spring. If you pay attention to that first, the coil spring compresses and then it doesn't anymore. That's sort of the disc pad to uh, disc gap of the brake. Then it gets really firm. And you can see that this is about the most travel you can get, at about 80, 85 kilos on the white rubbers. You see everything flex a little bit and shake from uh, the effort it takes. It's, uh, I'm not uh, built to do this properly. And the clutch is the longest pedal. Also a little shake because it's also uh, at a pretty high force. So I need to uh, put some effort in it. The minimum, naturally the opposite, so the least amount of throttle travel which can be more comfortable uh, depending if you on, on your cockpit layout for your your ankle, uh, your joint, how, how, how that feels comfortable or not. The stiffest brake using just one uh, rubber uh, spring, a green one as you can see, which is stiffer. Throttle is much, much shorter as you can see, much less travel. And the brake still has that coil spring. You can take it out as well and just use spacers and you can even remove the green spring, of the green rubber spring as well and just use spacers in the whole brake so it's 100% firm basically which would also work. But this is the pedal effort with one rubber spring. You can see it moves less than a third or one, one fourth of the, the previous setting. Still 85 kilos more or less, still some shaking and flex but it shows you that it's much stiffer that pedal. And the clutch pedal has about two-thirds of the travel as well. You can reach us at uh, our website at hengineering.net and also at various social media. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye bye.